Welcome to the General Chemistry 2 class. This section in an acid-base equilibria and salt equilibria. This lesson is about strength of acids and bases. Let's begin. In this lesson, we will determine the relative strength of an acid or a base from the value of the ionization constant of a weak acid or base. Acids and bases undergo dissociation or ionization in water. The ionization of acids or bases occurs at a certain extent. Some of them undergo complete dissociation while some undergo partial dissociation. The extent of ionization is a measure of an acid or a base on the strength. Acids and bases can be classified as strong or weak. Strong acids are acids that ionize completely in water. The ionization of these acids is considered irreversible. The most common strong acids are nitric acid, hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, hydrochloric acid, chloric acid, bromic acid, perchloric acid, and sulfuric acid. Weak acids are acids that partially ionize in water. The ionization of these acids is irreversible, suggesting that the reaction occurs both in forward and backward directions. Most acids are considered weak. Examples of acid weak are acetic acid, phosphoric acid, and hydrogen sulfate or bisulfate ion. Strong bases are bases that ionize completely in water. Like strong bases, ionization of these bases is considered irreversible alkali, group 1, and alkaline. Group 2, hydroxides are considered strong bases. Examples of strong acids are sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, and barium hydroxide. Recall, the metals on the right constitute the alkali and alkaline earth metals. Weak bases are acids that partially ionize in water. The ionization of these bases is reversible. Examples of weak bases are ammonia, aminis, and some organic compounds containing nitrogen, such as methylamine and pyridine. Ionization constant or dissociation constant is the equilibrium constant for the ionization of an acid or a base in water. There are two kinds of ionization. Constants, the acid ionization constant, Ke, and the base ionization constant, Kb. The acid ionization constant, or Ke, is the equilibrium constant for ionization of an acid. Consider the ionization of an acid, Ha to hydrogen ion and its conjugate base, A. The value of Ke is equal to the equilibrium concentration of hydrogen ion times that of the conjugate base divided by the of the acid. Concentration, the acid with greater Ke produce more hydrogen ion, hence more acidic. The base ionization constant or Kb is the equilibrium constant for ionization of a base. Consider the ionization of a base producing the conjugate acid and the hydroxide ion. The value of Kb is equal to the equilibrium concentration of the conjugate acid times that of hydroxide ion divided by that of the base. Strong bases have with Kb values, hence the irreversibility of the ionization of such bases in comparing weak bases with equal initial concentration. The base with greater Kb produces more hydroxide ion, hence more basic. Example 1. Arrange the following acids from weakest to strongest. Acetic acid, ammonium ion, hydrocyanic acid, hypochlorous acid. An acid with greater Ke is stronger. Thus, the order of the acids from weakest to strongest is as follows. Ammonium followed by hydrocyanic acid, then hypochlorous acid, and lastly, acetic acid. Example 2. Arrange the following bases from weakest to strongest. Acetate ion, ammonia, cyanide ion, and hypochlorite ion. A base with greater Kb is stronger. Thus, the order of the base from weakest to strongest is as follows. Acetate followed by hypochlorite, then cyanide, and lastly, ammonia. Let us combine the answers in examples 1 and 2. The bases in example 2 are conjugate bases of the acids in example 1. Note 
that the weakest acid in example 1 and the strongest base in example 2 are conjugate pairs. So are the strongest acids in example 1 and the weakest base in example 2. From the examples we have, we can conclude that if an acid is strong, its conjugate is weak. For instance, hydrochloric acid, a strong acid, has chloride ion as its conjugate base. Chloride ion is so weak that it cannot accept a proton from acids weaker than hydrochloric acid. On the other hand, water is relatively weak as an acid. Its conjugate base, hydroxide, is the strongest base that exists in water. In an acid-base reaction, the direction that forms the weaker acid and weaker base is more favored. In the reaction of hydrofluoric acid with cyanide ion, producing fluoride ion and hydrocyanic acid. Hydrofluoric acid is stronger acid than hydrocyanic acid, while cyanide is a stronger base than fluoride. Since the strongest acid and stronger base are on the reactant side of the equation, then the reaction is more favored in forward direction. Next, in the reaction of ammonium and fluoride ions producing ammonia and hydrofluoric acid, Hydrofluoric acid is a stronger acid than ammonium ion, while ammonia is a stronger base than fluoride ion. Since the stronger acid and the stronger base are on the product side, then the reaction is more favored in backward direction. Example 3. Predict the direction of the following reaction given the Ka values of the acids. Solution Ka of nutritious acid is higher than that of bicarbonate ion, suggesting that nutritious acid is stronger than bicarbonate ion. Being the stronger, acid nitrous acid must have the weaker conjugate base, which is nitrite ion. Bicarbonate ion, the weaker acid, must have the stronger base, which is carbonate ion. Since the stronger acid and the stronger base are on the reactant side, the reaction proceeds more favorably in forward direction. Example 4. Predict the direction of the following reaction given the Ka of the acids. Solution. The Ka of methyl ammonium ion is lower than that of benzoic acid, suggesting that methyl ammonium is the weaker acid while benzoic acid is the stronger acid. With this, the conjugate base of methyl ammonium, methylamine, is the stronger base. While on the conjugate base of benzoic acid, benzoic ion is the weaker base. Since the stronger acid and the stronger base are on the product side, then the reaction proceeds more favorably in backward direction. Consider the ionization of a weak acid and its conjugate base. The ionization constant for the acid and the base is given by Ka and Kb. Respectively, getting the product of Ka and Kb, we obtain hydrogen ion concentration times hydroxide ion concentration, which is equal to the ion product constant for water, or K. Ka and Kb are inversely proportional to each other. With the Ka as the proportionally constant, this suggests that if the Ka of a weak acid is large, the Kb of its conjugate base is small. <clears throat> Since an acid with high Ka is relatively strong and a base with low Kb is relatively weak, the relationship between Ka and Kb proves the observation that a strong acid has a weak conjugate basis. Likewise, a weak acid has a strong conjugate base. Example 5. Calculate the Kb of methylamine given the Ka of methyl ammonium ion is 2.2 times 10 raised to the power of negative 11. Solution. Kb can be calculated by dividing Kw by Ka substituting values of Kw and Ka. We get Kb equals 4.5 times 10 raised to negative 4. To summarize, strong acids and bases undergo complete ionization in water. Weak acids and bases undergo partial ionization in water. 
ionization constant is the equilibrium constant for the ionization of an acid or base. Given a set of acids, the one with the greatest acid's ionization constant is the strong guest. Likewise, in comparing bases, the ion with the greatest base ionization constant is the strongest. Acid base. Reactions proceed more favorably in the direction that produces the weaker acid and weaker base. A strong acid has a weak conjugate base since its ionization constant is inversely proportional to the ionization constant of its conjugate base. Thank you. Acid base equilibria and salt equilibria. Part 5. Strength of acids and bases. Select the correct answer. 1. Which of the following is not a strong acid? A, B, C, or D? Number 2. Which of the following is not a strong base? A, B, C, or D? Arrange the following bases in order of incre increasing strength. 3. Which of the following is I? A, B, C. Which of the following is 3? A, B, or C? Which of the following is 1? A, B, C, or D? Which of the following is 2? A, B, C, or D? Which of the following is 4? A, B, C, or D? What is the KB of OCl given that the Ka, HSO, Cl is 4.0 times 10 raised to negative 8? A, B, C, or D? What is the Ka of HSO3 given that the KB of SO3 raised to 2 is 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 7? A, B, C, or D? 10. Predict whether the reaction is more favored in forward or backward direction. A, B, 